James, what's up? This is Mike from the last Corvette. We're over here in Michigan. My neighbors are about an acre over. We're shooting off some fireworks, so I apologize for that. So let's see what's been going on for the uh, last couple hours. Hopefully they'll stop here. It's a burst. <laughs> All right. Almost there. All right, we're good. So check this out. So I'm glad you're finally getting your C6. Um, checked out by a by a shop it's not easy working on fuel systems or vehicles period especially like c6s and it's also not easy to try to troubleshoot something over the interwebs um but let me tell you something um one thing i don't get is the high ramp intake on an ls motor uh non-truck motor so that's first thing i i guess don't understand why you're trying to run a high ramp intake it's going to be very hard to tune for one all right, for two, uh, normally you run a high ram intake on a big block or a high compression engine. Uh, could be small block or big block. I could see that. Um, now, another thing too is Fast 102, and I don't know for a fact, but Fast 102, their fuel injectors and their, oh, here we go again, <laughs> uh, fuel rails suck. There we go, look at that, fireworks. <laughs> they suck so I chose to go OEM style I'm actually running a stock fuel rail with top caps and I'm running a truck injector yes a truck injector ethanol injector and it works out just fine so anyway at the end of the day is this just make sure you have the right setup uh, like I said, Fast 102 or Fast Spark as they call them. Fuel rails, injectors are not very good. And especially a high ram intake on a small block is very hard to tune. So at the end of the day, just make a right judgment, get your fuel figured out, and then see how well it tunes. Talk to you guys later. Listen, enjoy your weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend and uh, get it done. I'll talk to you later.